and a little bit frustrated at times by the looks of it down there. Yeah, we uh, look. It, it, there's a lot of pleasing elements of tonight. You know, it was a, a good game to watch. I'm sure everybody coming will agree that we played some great stuff mm. and there's some great performances out there. Um, it's just when we did get on top, when we, you know, after about 20, 30 minutes, we we suddenly took over and we were playing some fantastic stuff to our, up until half time after that. Um, and you say, look, if, if you go out there and do that again for the first 10, 15 minutes, the game's going to really go your way. And we just start giving the ball away. We start forcing things and we start going against the messages that we've given them at our time. Um, and that is, it, it does become frustrating um, from, listen, if, you're on, if I'm on the pitch, I'm frustrated if, if people are doing that. So from the sidelines, uh, it, it, it can be. Um, but as I said, look, overall, it's uh, it's been an enjoyable experience for, for the lads, I'm sure. And enjoyable for 300 people who managed to come in here tonight on a very, very wet night. Pitch was very heavy in that second half as well, which doesn't help. No, no, no. It's, do you know what? The, it, in the warm-up, it was playing really well um, with the rain. You know, the rain, it needed a bit of rain, but then obviously the rain continued uh, <laughs> and got heavier and a bit longer. So, yeah, like you say, it doesn't help. But what I would say is, is we should probably deal with the fact that the pitch is a bit bigger um, and the pitch is a little bit heavier than, than they should. Uh, like I say, that's just a little bit of pressure that we put on the kids and that's the pressure that's put on the first team. So they've got to be... They've got to be ready, you know. There's no point us telling them that it's good enough to give the ball away, and it's okay. Yes, we we give them the freedom to to understand that we don't mind mistakes. Um, but when the pitch looks, I mean, at the end of the day, the pitch looked massive at times, yeah. and we kept playing in small pockets where there were lots of bowling players. Well, we, Miles and I, <laughs> noticed in the, in the first half after about 20 minutes, like you said, yeah. you know that in in between the in between the lines, it was just opening up, and that's where we took advantage. And yeah. then they closed them. To be fair to them, yeah. in the second yeah. half, and and I guess. You know, fitness levels in ordinarily would be higher from our perspective, but I guess at this stage of pre-season, it's every everyone's trying to find fitness. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, like you said, I think after 30, 40 minutes, we'd we'd shown that we were going to be fitter and sharper. And like you said, when the game opened up, we played some and some some of the stuff uh, in the that second spell. in the first half was yeah. was fantastic. And and that's it. If they if they close the spaces, if they make the pitch, if they try and close the central areas, then what we should be doing is, you know, we should be moving it the width of the pitch and, mm -hmm. and really getting them to work and tire them out even more and uh, in a different way. Um, and look, that's up to the players. You know, they've got to be problem solvers. They they get this information um, through the academy and and when they get to the opportunity to train with the first team. Uh, and like I said, just little bits of disappointing stuff. But like I said, look, there've been some fantastic performances out there. You know. Great to see, you know, Joe Locke had a really tough year last year with injuries, mm -hmm. um, and he's come back and he and he really did lead by example tonight. He looks accomplished there. Yeah, you know, he's a he's a he's a really good player. He's a really good personality, Joe. Um, you know, he after he captained the the youth side and then he's come in tonight and he's captained again, and he leads he leads by example. Uh, it's the kind of character that you want in those kind of games. Um, you know, we've asked a different role of Don Price who uh, has come That's across. That's a new name for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Dom Dom was at Monk sitting with me. Uh, and then before I came over here, and I kept an eye on him and, and you know, asked him to come across. And he's, you know, I put a great performance on, but it's a slightly different role than he's used to playing, so yes. it's even more um, deserving. But like I say, there's been some, some really good performances out there. Some other new names tonight for us uh, Will Morris, Joe Davy. Will Jamie... Morris is definitely not a new name. Not, well, for me it is. <laughs> for me it is. But um, Jamie Whitehead, he came on, he looked, he looked sharp. sharp. Yeah, Jamie's uh, a lad from Scotland. He's come down and joined the academy. Uh, mm -hmm. He's, he's going into uh, his second year with us, but he's, he's going into one under 19, yeah. Um, as you've seen, really fit, sharp, dynamic player, likes to play in a really attacking role. And again, we've asked him to play a slightly different role tonight, and he's gone out, and gone out there and given yeah. everything he's got, which is all you want. And Jamie Hansen? Yeah. Both got himself on the score sheet? Yeah, so Jamie, Dom, uh, they've both had a few games for Ashton. Uh, they're from that way. Again, Jamie's from Monks Eaton. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't actually going to be in a football program when he when he came to me at seventeen, which I couldn't believe. Um, you know, clever little mover, good finisher, uh, non-stop work ethic, um, and again, really happy for him to get his goal tonight. But listen, he's again nowhere near the finished article. He's got a lot of work to do in his game, um, but I know Jamie is a character, and, and he uh, he will put everything he's got into this program. Um. One of, we showed some footage in, uh, of the Futures Academy and uh, we had a little compilation of last year's FA Youth Cup run. So, um, clearly, it, it is an edu I guess it's an education for any player mm -hmm. coming to this club, whether you are 16, whether you are 14, whether you're 25, there's a lot to learn. Yeah, there is. And we've, 
you know, well, before I even came in, there's a hell of a lot of work gone in behind the scenes from people like Wes, Jamie, Lee, Graham, uh, and everybody else at the club to to build the Futures Academy to to, to get the 16 to 19 program. Um, and it's the idea is that even including the foundation teams now that there's there's one club, there's one big long pathway that mm. whether you join the club at three, four, or five in thinkers and movers and things like that, yeah, that, that we can we can get these kids on a pathway to our first team so when they do come in now again the, the more um educational programs like mortimer like the, the 16 to 19 uh they're getting geared towards playing for Lee and graham you know we, we we do everything the same kind of way we preach the same messages obviously the age that they're at the uh different the message but there's some key things that go into everything they do that hopefully um, we'll see them just progress steadily, uh, and, the, and look, we've we've had some great players come through already in in Sam and Will and uh, Aaron Stevens, uh, sorry Alan Thompson, um, and before that Callum Guy. The, yeah. the amount of players that have been involved in the first team at the academy shows. So if we can start that program a little bit earlier, if we can start that progress from when they come in young, um, the future's bright. Hopefully, the future is bright, exciting. Um, it would be even more exciting if we could see you on a football field. <laughs> How yes. are you? I know. I'm I'm better. I'm getting there. Uh the unfortunate part was I obviously had a, a good strong I said to you last week, I had yeah. a good strong start to pre season. Um and literally two days before the first game of pre season I took the calf. So I'm now ten days later. Um probably a few days away. So hopefully, you know, I think Saturday will come too early sure. for me, but if we do get a fixture next week or we get something to play next week, I'm open to be involved. I'll be, I'll definitely be back training at the start of next week. Excellent. And then obviously we've got Gateshead the following Saturday, which is yep. org as well. Well, John, thank you for taking the time to join us um, on what has been a very wet night and the rain <laughs> has is just no about stop. stopped. <laughs> um, you'll be freezing, I'm sure. All the best. Thanks very it's much. It's a pleasure Chris. to have you as always, speaking so eloquently. <laughs> Good luck with much. that calf injury. We'll get